My man Zar make tracks like this. What's going on y'all? In 2017, I did a video called Five Mics I Own Under $500. And as we end 2019, I wanted to do a new version of that video because some things have changed over the past few years and there's been some new mics introduced and I feel that they need to be featured. Uh, the preamp we'll be using for this will be the uh, La Chapelle 500DT on the fully op amp side uh, so we can get a very clean pre and hear these microphones. Uh, so let's take a look at the microphones. So this was the lineup I had in 2017, the Lawton Audio LA320, Mojave Audio MA50, the SE Electronics SE2200 2AC, which this is the 2200. Uh, the 2AC I had an issue with and had to send it in. SE Electronics sent me the new updated model, which is just the SE2200. For the most part, it's the same mic and comes in at the same price. Uh, the Roswell Mini K47 and the Groove Tubes GT57. So as we end 2019, let's make some changes to this lineup that I feel is necessary. For one, we're going to remove the Mojave MA50 because it had a, a price increase sometime this year and it's now $599. So it's no longer under $500. So let's swap that out. And we're going to replace that with the Vanguard V4, uh, which is one of my uh, favorite microphones that I've been using that I purchased this year. Uh, the Roswell Mini K47, let's swap that out. So we're swapping out the Mini K47 for the Mini K87, which is a new microphone that Roswell released this year. Still love my Mini K47, but since the uh, Mini K87 is a newer mic and came out this year, uh, we'll now feature that. And lastly, we're going to switch out the Groove Tubes GT57. And for that one, we're going to bring in the Dizen Golf LD1948. So just like I did with the previous video, I'm going to hook these mics up and I'm going to read some of the product description through each microphone and we'll check out the differences. So here are the audio files for the five microphones we're using here. Uh, the Mini K87, Vanguard V4, SE2200, LD1948, and the LA320. Uh, the Mini K87 and Vanguard V4 are both transformerless mics. SE2200 and LD1948 are transformer balance mics, and the LA320 is a tube mic. So I'll play each of these files, and then I'll also play it and step through them and so you can hear the immediate difference. And we're gonna start with the Mini K87. The Mini K87 is a high resolution condenser microphone with a neutral voicing. It aspires to transparency rather than color, yet it retains enough character to capture and communicate the emotion of the source. The mic's sound comes from a combination of a specially tuned K67, K87 style capsule and a circuit that we've designed to enhance and complement it. The final voicing of the microphone is a manual process that enables us to create a very consistent sound. Vanguard V4 The Vanguard V4 is a large diaphragm multi-pattern FET condenser microphone. Lovingly crafted by experts over two years, it is designed to be a versatile, reliable, professional recording tool that breaks the usual bang-for-your-buck curve. With our acclaimed edge-terminated, ultra-thin custom-voiced capsule, a pad, roll-off option, primo cryogenically treated componentry, and the best shock mount in all the land, the V4 is made to be your go-to workhorse microphone at a price that won't break your piggy bank. SE2200 The SE2200 is the latest version of the award-winning cardioid condenser microphone that put SE Electronics on the map many years ago with its smooth, 
polished sound for vocals, voiceovers, and numerous instrumental applications. Made famous through use with world-class vocal artists like Amy Winehouse, it revives the spirit of classic studio microphones and still remains a standard in mic lockers around the world. Dizengoff LD1948 The LD1948 is a transformer-coupled large diaphragm FET microphone that combines the spirit of classic British and German microphones of the 1960s and 1970s with technology created right here in Chicago. The LT1948 makes use of an output transformer style found in British microphones in the 1970s. Unlike British designs, the LD1948 uses a transformer core material developed right here in Chicago. It gives the LD1948 a quality that's clear and revealing, yet it has richness, weight, and a unique nuance. Lawton Audio LA320 the Series Black LA320 Large Diaphragm Vacuum Tube Condenser Microphone is a professional, versatile microphone for studio and vocal recording. This microphone features a 1-inch gold sputtered diaphragm with cardioid polar pattern, dual triode vacuum tube, 120Hz low cut filter, 12K high cut filter, and transformer balanced output. The low cut filter helps reduce boomy lows and low end rumble, and the high cut filter helps tame bright sources. These features help you achieve excellent recordings regardless of your skill level. And now let's quickly run through all of them starting back with the Mini K87. The Mini K87 is a high resolution Confram multi-pattern FET condenser microphone microphone that put SE Electronics on the map many years ago with their phones of the 1960s and 1970s with technology created polar pattern Dual triode vacuum tube 48 makes use of an output transformer e winehouse. It revives the spirit of primo cryogenically treated componentry. The phone is a manual process that enables us to create a very consistent sound. So now I'll discuss my thoughts on what I heard between these five microphones, uh, starting with the Mini K87. So the Mini K87 sounded the darkest to me of all the microphones, and which was a surprise because I wouldn't call the Mini K87 dark, but compared to these other microphones, I do feel that it was the darkest. I like the low mids in the Mini K87. And uh, the Vanguard V4 had very nice low mids and uh, even frequency response going up to the high end. I think the V4 was the cleanest of them all. The SE2200 had a very big sound and uh, to me that big sound carried throughout all of the frequency response. And remember the SE2200 has a transformer, it's a transformer balance mic as the LD1948 is and the LD1948 had a vintage tone to me. I think it's the brightest out of them all. Uh, I really like the open end on the LD48, but it also has nice full uh, low mids as well. I'd certainly call this a character type uh, mic as well as the SC2200. And the LA320, uh, I definitely hear the tube sound in there. Uh, it had a nice high end. It wasn't as bright as the LD1948 to me, but I do like the high end. I like the low mids in the LA320 and it overall hit a smooth sound as well. Oh, I liked all of these mics on my voice. Now let's discuss the prices on these. So starting with the LA320, it's the uh, most expensive here on the list and it's $499. The Vanguard V4 is $399. The SE2200 is $299. Uh, coming in at the cheapest on the list. Uh, the Mini K87 is $399, and the LD1948 is $399. Uh, so a quick note about these. So the LA320 is a cardioid only. It has a high-pass and low-pass filter on it. Uh, the V4 is a what I call a full-featured microphone. It has all three polar patterns. It also has a roll-off, and it also has a pad. The SE2200 is unique in the fact that it has two pads and it also has two roll-off frequencies, uh, but it is cardioid only. Uh, it has a, a negative 10 dB pad and a negative 20 dB pad. Uh, the Mini K87 is cardioid only and the LD1948 is cardioid only. So, you know, of these all, uh, if you are looking for a microphone that is full-featured and 
is, I'd say, is affordable. Uh, it's kind of hard to pass up the V4 just because it can do anything you need with the uh, three polar patterns as well as pad and roll off. The LA320, I haven't seen many, still haven't seen many two microphones in this uh, price range. And this one is, from what I've heard, just the best tube mic, in my opinion, at that price range. Uh, the V4 in its price range is, to me as well, the best mic that you can get uh, just because it's uh, full of features. But again, all these mics sound great. Oh, and lastly, the Dizengolf LD1948. Uh, really unique sound, and it's uh, Dizengolf is only making 200 of those. Uh, so if you're interested in that, I would pick, pick one up uh, as soon as possible because... As of right now, once they're gone, uh, they are gone. Uh, but there's my 2019 version of five mics that I own under $500. Uh, any questions, comments, let me know, and I'll catch y'all next time. I want to invite everyone to check out my new podcast, The Faders Up Podcast. It's a podcast about pro audio. I've got me and three other Nashville professionals. We're discussing pro audio, pro audio topics, pro audio lifestyle. And it's available on Apple Podcasts and it's available on Spotify. So check it out, rate it, let me know what you think.